In today's video, we are going to be playing some Hive, and we're going to be showing you all of the ingredient locations you need to find to unlock those rewards, and we're also going to go through all of the Ghost Invasion rewards that you get for reaching level 20. And we're going to be showing you everything the Hive 2024 Halloween has to offer. Let's get right into it. Alright, so, heading off spawn all the way onto the staircase here, let us head to the castle. If you go enter the gate right here and take a left... And you can just go ahead and follow this path. Now we are going to be coming at the fountain here. Now we can go over here. Can go over the hedge here. We can just, you know, do a bit of parkour. If you can't do parkour, that's okay. Just go into the water and you're going to want to go up this water. Which brings you up to this cave. It's not all the way on top of the waterfall. It's in through it. Go right on this. And you're going to find a potion. That is the first out of 13. Going back out of the waterfall. You can go ahead and get into this river. Or sewer I should say. Get up of here. And you're going to see another ingredient. That is 2 out of 13. If you go back and you can see there's a little hole in here. You can go down this. And there you go, another potion ingredients. Let's go ahead and go back through the water. Get on the hedge back to the fountain. Let's go ahead and do some parkour. And this should be relatively easy, but if you don't want to do the parkour, you can also just go ahead and jump into the water. Alright, let's go under this bridge. And you're going to see a bubble stream here from Soul Sand. You want to go up. And then you're going to be finding another potion ingredient in this house. If your inventory gets full, you can just move your items into your inventory. Or you can just, after each item you get, you can go back to hub spawn, go to the cauldron, fill them individually, and then go all the way back here. Which is just really slow, and that's why I just get them all at once. Alright, let us go ahead and go to the next item. I have a general idea of where it is. It's just having to navigate through this castle. It's pretty big. But I'm sure we'll find it. Alright, let's see. This is... I'm pretty sure we should go this way. Yeah, we should go this way. All the way on to the end. And they go straight to these small stairs there will be one opening past that and then there will be another opening enter that and there you have it once you get the witch's hat we are going to go back to hub spawn because that is the fastest route there you go and now we are going to get the final two in the hub but there will still be another few ingredients back in some other lobbies which we'll get to afterwards and like gangsters we're just going to jump off and pretend like it totally didn't break our legs and now across this ocean we got another ingredient all right here we are Yep, there it is. We've got some bones. Alright, and the final one of the hub is on the other end of the map. You got Dora's backpack mm. if you want that. I already have it, so. Heading up all the way to the top of the lighthouse. And there you have it. The final ingredient of the hub. 
Now you can go ahead and head back to the hub spawn. You can go ahead and hold your items in. You can get on top of the cauldron and you can drop them in. Like I'm doing with the compass right now. I already have every ingredient so I can't really show you it. But a few more ingredients to go and they are in the Skywars and Bedwars hub. So let's head straight there. Alright, let's go ahead and go for the Skywars hub first. Straight off spawn. We can go ahead and go this way. Up these stairs. And we should have the first ingredients. And you can go ahead and go up these buildings. Or path I should say. And you can go all the way to the top. And find another ingredient. Now let's go ahead and get the final ingredient. Which is going to be all the way back to the hub spawn. You want to keep going back. And you, you're going to see this parkour. You can just jump over the fence like nothing ever happens. And you can go all the way over here. Go over the bridge. And right inside of this building is the final ingredient of this hub. You can go back to the main hub. The low castle, not the hub spawn. You can go back to the cauldron. And drop them in. The final three ingredients are going to be in the Bedwars hub. So let us go there. First off the bat. Right off spawn. You can turn around and go to this pirate ship. There's going to be one right inside. Once you get there you can just go ahead and climb up the ladders. You can go ahead and go straight into the captain's room. And find this ingredient. Once you got that, you can go back to hub spawn. You can turn around again. You should be able to find another bottle. Once you got that, we can head straight into the final ingredients. So let us climb up these stairs. And you can go ahead and keep climbing these until you see this red roof or tent, I should say. You can go ahead and climb up the hill. Go along the edge, just drop down on this roof. You can just go ahead and drop down, drop down. And there you have it, your final ingredient. Once you have that, you can back, head back to main hub. And you can drop your three final ingredients into the cauldron like so. Oh. With, with my compass again because I don't have the ingredients I already have them but there there you have it that is how you get all the ingredients the rewards are as follows you get a witch costume which is apprentice which looks like this pretty decent it's not bad and you also get a hub title which is extraordinary so that is pretty cool so for reaching Ghost Invasion level 20, you're going to be collecting all of these avatars. You're going to be getting the Spooky Stroll, the Grim Grinning Reaper, the Moonlit Manor, Spirit Street, and Count Ghosty, which are all pretty decent avatars. As for the hub titles, you will, go, you will be getting the Two Ghoul for School and the Fantastic title. Last but not least, you're also going to be getting the Count Ghosty costume, which is really nice. It's a nice costume, I like it. It's the only costume I have that has these, like, no legs. It's pretty interesting, I actually kind of like it. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for the update of The Hive 2024 Halloween. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe if you didn't like it and you just hate on the video like and subscribe anyway because it's a nice thing to do but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video